Hey, puppy. Are you a lion? Are you tiger? Are you just sleepy? I love you. Hey guys, it's Jasmine and that was Puppy and the day has finally come. We have the results of Puppy's DNA test. And we also have the results of his beautiful kitty cousin, Bella. If you are new to this channel and you're into all kinds of cat stuff, especially including kitty nutrition and raw cat food and kitty care tips, and if you're into things for humans like fitness and nutrition or whatever else I feel like posting, then make sure to click that subscribe button below because we do put out a new video every Saturday. Now, this video is actually part of a, a two-parter. So if you missed part one of me getting Puppy's actual sample, and in that video I discuss more about Base Paws as a company in more detail, then I definitely suggest going to watch that video, and I will put a link to that in the description below, or you can just find it in our Cat Stuff playlist. In that video, I also shared how long it takes to get the results once you mail the sample in, and at the time, Base Paws stated on their website that it took two to six months to expect your first live report. And they weren't kidding. It took about six months for me to get Puppy's results after they received his sample. What's interesting is that Bella got her results back around, I think it was four to six weeks after they received her sample. So the window time frame that they gave on their website at that time was pretty accurate. And by the way, I do have my laptop right here in front of me because when we go over the results and look at some things on the website, I wanted you guys to be able to see what I'm looking at so that you can maybe understand it better or basically know what to expect if you want to get this cat DNA test for your own cat. Now regarding how long it takes to get your results at this point, Base Paws has definitely seen to improve their process and continuously update their website because if you look in the FAQ section of their website now and you look at the question, how long does it take to receive my reports, it currently states after we have received your sample, it will take approximately 8 to 12 weeks for us to analyze and report back the results. So for those of you who are iffy to get it in the first place, after you maybe saw my first video, you wanted to wait for my results. Um, and if you just didn't like how long it took to get your results back and that's what made you wary to make the investment, then that's pretty good news because it looks like that isn't as big of an issue anymore. Base Paws is also standing true to the fact that they're not only improving the process, but they're continuing to add more and more breeds to improve the accuracy of your own cat's results, which which I noticed when checking Puppy's report, as you will soon see, his actually has changed a couple of times since I've gotten his results back. Not only that, but when you get a cat kit DNA test from Base Paws, it does include lifetime updates for everyone because back when I made my video about, geez, probably like over six months now ago, the, the lifetime health and breed updates were a part of a special for anybody using my coupon code, which is still active. If you guys end up wanting to try this out for your own cats, it's $15 off if you just use a coupon code CATLADYFITNESS in your cart after you add the cat kit at checkout. So like I was saying, the good news is whether you decide to use my coupon code and save $15 off each cat kit or not, hi. Hi, babes, babes. No, oh, shoot. Everybody gets these lifetime updates and access, which is vital. And honestly, that is what makes this DNA test worth it, as you will soon see. So let's go ahead and pick up, oh, for goodness sake. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off at the end of part one of this video. Both Puppy and Bella's samples were mailed in, and we did receive an email once their sample arrived at Base Paws Labs. Bella got her email on July 25th, and I got the email for Puppy on July 26th. And as you can see, of course, they included an adorable 
cat animation, which you guys already know from the first video that wins me over every time. So points to base paws for knowing their audience. Now, the next email update for Bella came on August 20th, which let my brother know that Bella's sample was being sequenced. And then he received her first live report on August 28th. So from mailing in Bella's sample to getting her report only took about five or six weeks. As for Puppy, we didn't receive his sequencing email until October 5th. And then we didn't receive his actual live results report until December 11th. Needless to say, it was a huge difference between Bella's window versus Puppy's window, especially considering that we got notifications that the lab had received their samples one day apart. Just for the sake of making this review as thorough as possible, I wanted to mention that just so you can be aware that even if you send in samples for, for two cats and the samples get there the same day or within the same couple of days, it doesn't mean that you're going to get your results back at the same time. Now I know you're just like, get to the freaking results already. Okay, let's do that. But first, let's just go over how to read these results and what they mean. So on BasePaws website, which I'm scrolling through with you guys, you'll see that the results that we got were just their breed and their wildcat index. According to this reports explanation page, the Base Paws Alpha report includes 26 popular cat breeds with more to come. So this is what the results look like. You see a blue bubble, and if the marker or blue bubble is to the right of domestic, then your cat has more DNA in common with that breed than a typical cat. If the marker is positioned directly under more likely, then your cat or one of your cat's parents actually belong to that breed. The markers can be narrow or wide. The width shows the range of our index for each breed. These ranges will improve with later versions of the report. So if puppy gets results that look like this, that means that Either he or one of his parents are this breed. If Puppy or Bella get results that look like this, that means that there is no strong match with any of the purebred cats in their database. In other words, your cat is a domestic or an untested breed. Siamese, for example, this report also shows that your cat is more related to Siamese and British short hairs than the average domestic cat. Now, as for the wildcat index, which is the other part of the results that you do get in the alpha report and that we did get, uh, it says here that the Base Paws Alpha report also includes comparisons of your cat to 16 different wild cats. Wild cats that have been compared to your cat are listed in the order of best match. So how their wild cat index works is if the percentage is higher than 50%, then your cat shares more DNA with this wild cat when compared to the average house cat. So you'll see results looking like this. Snow leopard, more alike than 75% of cats. Here's an example of puma, more alike than 66% of cats. So this is saying if this is what your cat's wild cat report looks like, then your cat, compared to most house cats, has more DNA in common with the snow leopard and puma. So that's basically all you get there. I think for the most part, this is just fun information to know and I'll get more into what I'm looking forward to with this after we actually see Puppy and Bella's results. So let's start off by looking at Bella's results. Now a little rundown on Bella, if you don't remember and haven't watched part one yet. Bella is my niece kitty and she lives all the way across the country on the other coast. She also has a very different temperament than Puppy and they pretty much look very, very different. All right, so first checking out Bella's breed. Let's see here. Bella's first one that her DNA matches with the best is the Berman breed. And you can see her bubble is pretty wide. And this is the part that I kind of don't get. I think this means that she's definitely not a pure bread of, of any kind, but that they don't have enough data to give a more precise or stronger result than what it's showing. So let's see what the second one she got was. Second one she got with the closest match was Ragdoll. So both of these make sense. I mean, she does look like both the, the Berman and the Ragdoll. She really looks like a Ragdoll, actually. So the third, top three, third one she got was American Shorthair. And again, and look at the blue bubble. It is super, 
super wide. And then of course you can click on learn more if you want to learn more about each breed that your cat gets. And then it gives you an option to see all 27 related breeds. So it looks like they're already adding some breeds because if you can remember their website said only 26, but now it's up to 27. So they are constantly updating. So let's move on to the Wildcat Index. What did Bella get? Bella is more alike than 100% of cats of Snow Leopard. Second one up she got is the Ocelot. She's again more alike than 100% of cats. Look at that pretty thing. And then the third one she got was a scimitar toothed cat. She's more alike than 98% of cats. Look at those fangs. All right, so those are Bella's results. All right, guys, it's a moment we've all been waiting for. The big reveal. What did Puppy get for his breed results and his wildcat results. I was gonna check this live with you guys, but I did open it as soon as I got it. Um, so I, I kind of took a look at it before, but I'm glad I did. And here's why. Let's scroll on down. Look at that. His first one is Egyptian Mao. When I checked this before, which was about a month ago, this was different. This was all different. I don't remember what it was, but Egyptian Mao was not number one. I know that much. And you can see, look, the bubble is the same. So loyal, playful, an elite athlete, the Egyptian Mao is naturally spotted camping. Yup. So the second one puppy got is Berman. So he is similar to Bella or Another thing you can consider is just that all of the samples and data that BasePaws has, has obtained so far is from cats with this similar kind of gene and DNA matching. And the third one puppy got was a British short hair. Interesting. Now, a lot of you guys have left comments on my videos and have just given insight or asked if I knew what breed puppy was and all I've been told by the majority was flame point Siamese. So I've usually responded like, oh, I think he's a flame point Siamese. Flame points really more having to do with their color from what I understand. When people ask if I know what breed puppy is, that's my answer. Uh, flame point Siamese, maybe with a tabby mix but really don't know. And after gaining this information, um, I just feel like maybe it's extending my answer to where I'll say, well, it seems Puppy is a flame point Siamese tabby mix, but according to the DNA test I got him, he could be part Egyptian Mao and Burman and British Shorthair. Just taking a little peek at the remaining breeds. Tonkinese is next, and you can see again the bubble is about the same. Broad bubble under Siberian, which I just think that it means he could be, they're not too sure. Siamese, it looks about the same as the Egyptian Mao. This is why I'm not too sure, because if you open up the rest of the breeds and take a look, the bubble can be comparable to ones that he got in the top three, but they're showing lower on the scale. Moving on to the Wildcat Index. Puppy is more alike than 97% of cats to a fishing cat with that cute little face. Here's why this is interesting and how I know that they're really starting to get their data in and make these updates. When I first checked this uh, back a little over a month ago, his number one wild cat was the tiger and he was more alike than 100% of cats for the tiger and he was more alike than 100% of cats for the snow leopard, which came in second then, but now he's more alike than 91% of cats to the snow leopard. I don't remember what his third one was, but it looks like it is the same as Bella's, which is the scimitar toothed cat. Puppy is more alike than 79% of cats. Look at that guy. I honestly think I'm gonna have to watch Ice Age after this. And if we look at all 13 related wild cats, Tiger is now down to puppy being more alike than 69% of cats. So that means that a lot of cats sent in their DNA and a lot of those cats beat puppy out when it came to similarities with the tiger. Leopard cat, clouded leopard. What's the last one? That's what I'm curious about. Oh my gosh, how sad. My house lion is more alike than 0% of cats. I guess I have to stop calling him my house lion. Anyway, puppy is 0% like a puma. And again, looking down here, coming in 2019 is the health and other 
features. So, concluding this review, do I think that the Base Paws DNA kit is worth it? If you have a cat or cats and have a spare $80, considering you're using the promo code CATLADYFITNESS, to spend, I do think that this Base Paws DNA Cat Kit is worth it, and here's why. Like I mentioned in the first video, by getting one of these Base Paws DNA Cat Kits and by submitting your kitty's sample, you're helping to fill a gap in the scientific world of kitty genetics that has never really had any attention put towards it before, and especially to watch Base Paws and the database grow being a part of it, which as you can see was already happening after even a month's time of getting puppies results back. The second reason that I would say it is worth it is because I'm particularly interested in the information and science and updates that are yet to be available. So again, that's especially the health markers, the different traits, and everything listed on their website that we as a consumer are yet to have access to in our reports. My hope is that once this information is available, it'll help provide a better understanding and the ability to care for our cats better. For me personally, even though it's really cool to know your cat's potential breed and the wild cats that could be puppies' ancestors, the upcoming information is really what will make this DNA kit worth it. Another reason I do think this is worth it is because the more DNA samples that Base Paws receives from people just like me and you, the more it will help identify things and increase their database in order to provide even better and more accurate information and results to everyone else who has sent in their kitties samples as well. And also, if you have cats that aren't from the same litter or who are both rescues from different times but who look like they could be twins, then this is something that's really cool to do just to compare the results with each other and see how similar or different your kitty siblings may be despite their appearance. Now, of course, this is kind of an ongoing review since there are stages when it comes to the Base Paws DNA Cat Kit. So if you guys want me to keep you posted and maybe update you in another six months or so to learn about any new things when it comes to puppies' DNA results or to compare puppy to your cat since so many of you have what are like puppy twins out there, let me know in the comments below because we can certainly do that. Or Hopefully, we will have a live stream soon or every so often. So if we do that, then of course I will update you on different things and we could talk about it in real time and that'll be fun too. Also, of course, let me know if you've already gotten your cat, the DNA cat kit from Base Paws and what your top three breeds or wild cats are because I'd love to hear about it. And if you are yet to get your DNA cat kit, from Base Paws, then remember that you can get yours straight from basepaws.com. Just enter the promo code CATLADYFITNESS in your cart at checkout and you will get $15 off each cat kit that you get. All right, guys, I hope you found this video interesting or helpful. Please feel free to share it with any other kitty parents that you may know or anyone who has been wondering about this Base Paws DNA cat test. Remember to click the thumbs up below if you liked this video and also to click the little bell icon when you subscribe because that way you will get notified whenever new videos or posts go up. Oh, and something new that I'm starting this week, a big shout out or no, no, meow out to JD and his kitty Squirt for being a loyal subscriber to Cat Lady Fitness. Thank you so much for your support and your comments. And if you and your kitty would like a personal meow out in next week's video, then just make sure to click the thumbs up on this video and to retweet the link to this video from my Twitter with the hashtag Cat Lady Fitness. Come here, you. Look at you. Say hi. You're, too, you're like a saber tooth tiger. Or no, I can't even remember your results now. Oh my gosh, sorry. You're slipping. You're slipping. Ooh, ooh. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next week. You want to say bye? Bye.